Alright guys, it's Walking Dead, and today we're going to be doing top 5 Walking Dead characters. Uh, well, of all time, because I've, I have already done a top 5 of that. But that was looking at now, but this one is going to be looking at everything in the Walking Dead, like all of it. So we're going to, so we're going to be going way back. So, no, not way back, but we're going to be going back and looking at some of them who are already dead now. And then we've got a couple in it now still. Um, so yeah, and then we're going to do a short Q&A afterwards. Uh, I'm just going to um, say today, the podcast episode 3 should be up. Should be. But no, like, promises. But anyway, let's get into the top 5 Walking Dead characters of all time. Right, number 5 is going to be Carl Grimes. Because, you know, he's been in it since the, um, start now, and he's not dead yet. And, you know, he's strong, and he didn't kick, didn't he? And he's, he literally has one eye now. And, you know, it just, the way he wears his hat is cool, you know, uh, cool hat. Uh, and, you know, it's just, he's been shot two, um, two, uh, times. So, that's, you know... And for a kid, you know, he's the kid, he's only a kid, and he's, he's literally, he's grown up in this, and we've seen him age since the start, loads. And, you know, some of the things he does are just, uh, uh, shocking. And I didn't even used to, uh, uh like him, because I love, Dale was amazing. And, in the show, he died because of Carl. <laughs> Obviously not in, um, uh, real life. But... You know that's that uh, that's why he's in there because he just does loads of random shocking things, and you know I could see him turning a little bit evil in the upcoming years of The Walking Dead. But anyway, four is going to be Rick Grimes. I can also see him. I think I actually think he's going to be evil. Like in about six years, he's going to be evil. You know, and in the uh, comics as well. Uh, but Rick is in it because we've seen him loads more than other uh, characters. And we've seen him cut, go from this normal cop to an absolute badass, huge leader, you know, psychopath really. <laughs> but yeah, we've seen him progress more. That, that's why he's in this top uh, uh, five. And he also he goes into loads of situations where he knows he could die. Like when the governor... Uh, attacked and he went down there and he said to, to, to the governor he tried to convince him like he just tried to say come on you know come come into our thing but that didn't go well and Herschel died you know but you know that's why he's in the top five Rick number three is going to be Shane Shane's in it because when he was in it he was huge and some of the he's just so shocking and we, we, we see him go from a good guy and because of the zombie apocalypse, he turns evil, and he tries to kill Rick, because he gets jealous, and that's what is, when you think of Shane, you think of jealousy, jealousy killed him, and that's why, you know, and that's why he's in the top uh, uh, five, because it's so shocking at the end of season two, when he got to uh, kill, and, you know, him killing Otis, you know, that's that was huge, well, that's not huge, but it was, Weird. I didn't know what's going to happen. Uh, you know, season one, you know, he slowly progressed to an evil guy, and that's and it kept us on edge, and that's why he's in the top five of all time. And number two is going to be Dale, uh, 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 Horvath. That's shocking, though. He, like, that was a shock to death. I didn't have a clue that was going to happen. He shouldn't have died. His actor wanted to leave, so he had to die. But I wish he went in for, for, for longer, I wish that happened, but it didn't ever happen. I don't know why, he's awesome. He would have been awesome, but his actor just wanted to leave. don't know why, it's going to be his, his biggest thing ever. But he thought that. And he could read, guys, and that's another thing. The, the reason why he's in this is because he can read uh, characters tra well, um, uh, uh, amazingly. He was. He just knew that Shane killed Otis, didn't he? 
Uh, see, that's that, that, that's why. And also, he has an awesome accent. And he's just old. And he can live. And he just looked awesome with his hat and stuff. Yeah. Again, his hat. Uh, now, number one is going to be the governor. And Negan isn't in this because he's just come um, uh, into it. And if you say of all time, he just can't be in it because he's only, he's only, he's only, he's only been in it for like over 10 uh, minutes. You know, so. uh, governor. Now, the governor was a badass from the start. And he was so evil because he was the first evil thing to happen, really. Or one of the first evil humans to come in and he killed loads of people. He killed Andrea. He killed Axel. He killed uh Herschel. He killed Milton. And he killed Merle. That's a huge load he just wiped out like bang bang and not like that quick but you know. He managed to kill those yeah, he's just, he, he's just he, and the thing is he's done got like all his um uh heads in his uh room you know and his penny girl you know daughter you know the uh, uh zombie and then when he gets his eye done you know and he has to have the eye patch you know that was all cool and then at the end when he killed when he chopped off uh herschel's head and this is this is what well this is what i know i'm going to see from uh, uh negan but he's going to be more he's going to be different negan he's going to be huge like bigger than him. That's why I'm excited to see about uh, Negan. But yeah, the, the governor was just evil from the start. And he ma it made him so cool how uh, he was so evil. But anyway, that's the top five. Now we're going to get to the Q&A. I've only got a couple uh, questions. And uh, number one is going to be from Walking Drew. He's my uh, partner. And I asked him, he said, okay, and he says, what do you think the kingdom, Ezekiel and uh, Shiva, I think that's how you spell his uh, name, he was way off, he put like A-Z, A-Z-E-Q-U-I, -E he was way off, but yeah, it's E-Z, it's E-Z-E-K-I-E-L, anyway, I'm not excited as much about, um, uh, him as I am Negan, but I'm just got up to his part in the uh, comics now, so it'll be good seeing him in the uh, show. After that, and if he's good in the uh, uh, comics, he might even I uh, might even be more like oh yeah, we're gonna see uh, Ezekiel. But anyway, yeah, I think the kingdom looks like a more sort of a tribe you know, sort of, oh, I can't explain it, like, Romans, old, with all their um, armour and stuff, and the way he talks, he's all formally, like a tribe, like, like they have their own little ways and stuff, you know, that's what I think about them, uh, and yeah, he looks like, unique, I think he looks weird, like, <laughs> Shiva and stuff, you know, I would have wanted to see Lee, Lee's actor, uh, I forgot his uh, n uh, name now, but I would have wanted to see him as uh, Ezekiel, you know, from the game, Lee, his actor, but, you know, oh well. So yeah, that's what I think, I think they're going to be, uh, Ezekiel is going to be huge in the uh, show, and looking forward to seeing about him, you know. Anyway, you, now, this one's from Mud. Blood Gamer 76 and he says you think Rick is getting his hand cut off by Negan this season now that would make that's a kind of cool thing to um uh, say because like how he already has got his hand cut off in the uh, uh, comics ages ago it was the governor but could they think hmm, I want Rick with no hand could they think yeah, let's cut off his hand in the, uh, in the, uh, show. But not obviously the governor, now Negan, because would they want to follow that and say, like, he should have, uh, 
Well, he has two hands now. He should only have uh, the one hand. And they might think, okay, let's just cut off his hand, you know. I don't think so. I don't think they act, they actually are going to do that. Nah. Like, if they want his hand cut off, I think they'll do it back uh, then. But I think Rick's so strong, isn't he? Me uh, uh, mentally. And I think they'll want to put, well, have him there as a guy who has lost nothing. You know, he's got all his hands, all his legs, all his feet, all his eyes, all his ears, everything, you know. But with Carl, he only had, well, he only has an eye now. Yeah, this one. Ah, uh, and Governor, he, he lost an eye as well. Jesus, uh, who else? Wait, yeah, didn't he lose, well, the governor lost everything, like, he only has, like, an ear, I think, and an eye, I, I don't know, but anyway, yeah, I think he'll look more, um, he'll look, oh, yeah, Merle lost his hand, but I think he'll look more, you know, strong if he's, if he's like, he goes, goes up to, uh, uh, Negan, and says, look, I have all my arms and stuff, I'm, I'm strong, I'm not harsh or moral, I've got everything, you know, anyway, yeah, and then you can cut off his hand, but that's it now, Q&A, anyway, so no, I do not think he's going to lose anything, yeah, at least, uh, maybe in a couple of years, I think, but I'm not uh, sure, but, yeah, that's it now, uh, like, comment, sub, share, the hell? Keep on walking!